Hello everyone, I'm Rodney Reynolds, and this next question was actually posed by a patron of mine, Stars Mars Radio. Thank you for asking where I've been and what have I been doing for the last six years. Well, let's get to it. I've been enjoying myself, to be honest. I I was just oversaturated with uh, computers and uh, producing content. It was it was just literally eating me alive. So I I, I got out of it, you know, um, and. I've always been one for um, doing things outdoors. Uh, I'm definitely an outdoors guy, and I'm more of a you know a, uh, a rural guy than a than a urban guy. You know, more of a country guy than a city guy. Uh, I can be both, but honestly, if I had a preference, I'd I'd move away from the cities. Like I just would get away. Um, but in any case, with that being said, I have been doing a lot of things outside, and um, it's um, it's been great. Like for example, uh, mountain biking, kayaking. Just recently got back into fishing a couple years ago. Um, hiking. Always been doing most of this stuff, and of course, I walk every day and exercise uh, every single day. I think it's important. I've always been doing that and this. Uh, you know, every. Uh, every single day and day in and day out uh, and I think that's the trick to uh, physical and mental health you know it's it's just keep do a little bit but do it every day and keep doing it that that's the thing don't just go to the gym for four hours you know once a month and say yahoo uh, something I did purchase recently and get into was uh, which I've been eyeing for a long time is um, is uh, e-scooters I've been looking at them for a long time it's it's and they haven't really gotten to where you know I kind of wanted them to be at they they uh, the range wasn't great uh, you know the platform itself wasn't wide enough the tires were just too small they were you know a lot of small hard tires hard rides I mean the e-scooters these days they range from like a good one, a thousand dollars, to like four thousand dollars, or even more than that. Um, some of them have, you know, some of them can go like sixty miles an hour. That's right, sixty miles an hour on an e-scooter. It's crazy. Um, some of them have sh like shocks and front stabilizers, and um, uh, it's just nuts. And you can sync them with your phone, and they give you all kinds of stats. It's just wonderful. Um, I used—I don't know if you know this, but I used to ride motorcycles for well forever honestly when I was a kid I had you know uh, motorcycles and mini bikes and off-road vehicles of all kinds I'm not comparing this to an e-scooter but hey you know I'm not in my 20s anymore or you know a young guy who's you know can can jump on a, um, a dirt bike and just go mad off-road I'd love to but <laughs> I know I'm gonna pay for it but these scooters just something different you know you're standing up and you're moving and it's on wheels it's just uh, it's just I have to say it's incredible if you haven't ridden on an electronic scooter don't you know if you don't want to buy one that's fine but just go ahead and rent one if you can um, it's it's a great experience and if, for example, your friend has one and you've never been on a scooter before, and you, um, you know, it's a, maybe it's a fast scooter, uh, you might want to tell that person to like, you know, take it out of sport mode and tame it down a little bit because if you jump on a scooter that's powerful, you will definitely uh, it will not be a good situation. Of course, try and wear all your gear as well. The one that I have, um, I'm not going to get into that. Maybe I'll, you know, do another um, video or something on that. But uh, it's it's good. I mean, it goes up to a maximum 35 kilometers an hour, and that's more than enough. You know, if you're on um, a trail system, I mean, most trail systems here in uh, Ontario, um, they're around 20 kilometers an hour. And actually, that's ridiculous in some respects because, I mean, you know, bikes. Um, just normal, you know, bikes are, uh, you can, you know, you can go 30, 40 kilometers an hour on those, and I see people on bikes pass me, you know, so, but anyway, so they're quick, I mean, when you're going, you know, when you're going 20 or 30 kilometers an hour on a scooter, it's, it's pretty nice, it's, uh, it's quite, uh, it's quite an experience, um, I've been riding in Ontario right now, it's, it's April, 
and actually I picked it up in May and I was riding then and it was, uh, man, it was cold. It's still cold, actually. This morning it's like minus one here. I don't know what's going on. Winter is just doesn't want to leave. It's sunny today, but it's, it's still cold. Um, I guess we have to wait for the, you know, the end of May, May 2-4 weekend. But yeah, that's been great. I mean, that's been something that I've been really enjoying and um, it's, uh, it's, you know, it's something that I can, it's something that I can do to get away and um, just relax and chill. I usually bring a lunch with me, actually. No matter what I do, I usually bring like a little sandwich or something and maybe some tea and a little dessert. If I go kayaking, I do that. If I, you know, go for a hike, I do that. If I go like my scooter, I do that. Um, I don't know, just something I always did. It's like a picnic of sorts. So I like doing that. So I spent, you know, literally years doing all that stuff and um, I think healthy stuff. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's been good. It's been wonderful. Um, so I spent years, you know, away from computers and it, it, it you know, it's, it's, it's been lovely, but um, when the pandemic hit, I like, kind of changed the dynamics of uh, uh, a lot of things. It, um, it, it, you know, it's, you, a lot of people, oddly enough, have more time on their hands. Some of them, you know, were working from home and, and whatnot, so for that reason, uh, you see a lot more people on the trail systems and I, honestly I've never seen so many people out and about as I did before I was the guy who was always out there you know I go to a, a, for example a parking spot uh, for example at a hiking trail and there would be nobody there or next to nobody there you know and now I come in and it's like I got nowhere to park so it's like this is great like it's great to see but uh, for me I'm like oh my god it's like we're, and there's people on the trails that are not you know they're out hiking and stuff but they're not really prepared for it you know you know they're not wearing hikers for example they're you know wearing shorts and there's a major tick issue um, in Ontario so you know I mean whatever it's fine they're out and about and they're doing whatever they need to do but uh, wow it's been a reus it's been a you know a surge in in that which is which is good so you know I think a lot of people are uh, they're using the free time to do that now one thing that I've so I always did that stuff that's not really something new for me but uh, what what was new for me since I took a break from it was gaming I mean I, I got out of gaming oh my gosh I mean after honestly like around 2016 I mean I didn't I didn't touch games I just I know man it's just I just got I um, just, uh, just I just felt like it was enough. It was just, it was like a a, a mind f u c k, if I can say that. It's it just was something I had to get away from, uh, and I did. I got away from it, and um, but I got back into it, and um, it's been it's been good. I mean, when I find like it's too much, I stop. I just pace myself. In saying that, though, I've caught up on a lot of games over the last year and a half. I purchased a new computer system, and man, it's it's some of these games that have been released, uh, you know, since well, some of them go back to 2014 that I haven't had a chance to to play because I mean, some of these games take hundreds of hours to finish and I never ever 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 had the time for that um, you know I, I just didn't uh, um, very few people you know have that time to do that but I managed to you know fit it in uh, and I, I enjoyed it I have to say I'm gonna cut the video short there because at this point I'm just rambling on and on and I don't want to do that what else have I been doing well cooking I've always cooked but now I'm getting into you know foods that are quicker and tastier spicier that's been lovely so expect maybe some more cooking videos coming up as well informative podcasts and ebooks and that's pretty much it aside from you know the everyday humdrum kind of stuff well thanks again to stars mars radio for posing this question if you want to become a patron you can you can visit patreon.com slash 3d game man well until next time take care